Hello, welcome to the GTB South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and we will continue to bring you informative videos. Alpha Nile is one of the three regions that constitute South Sudan. It is the region where Africa's famous and beloved son, Dr. John Garang de Mabior, originated. After John Garang de Mabior mysteriously died in a plane crash in 2005, the Fed by President of South Sudan, His Excellency Dr. Yak Machar, automatically became the Alpha Nile Kingfin. However, His Excellency Dr. Yak is a mortal, bracket, flesh and blood, like hers. The time is coming when he will exit the political stage and fight the baton to the next Kingfin. We have done credible research and analysis on who becomes the potential kingpin after His Excellency Dr. Yak Mashar. In this video, we have analyzed five politicians in Alpha Nile who have what it takes to become Alpha Nile kingpin. Here are they. Number one, Taban Dengai. The third vice president of South Sudan comes from the Unity State. He is of noble descent. Abandeng is a brother-in-law of His Excellency Dr. Yak. By virtue of being Angelina Tain's cousin, Tabandeng has served the Republic of South Sudan in various capacities as governor of Unity State to said vice president, which he currently holds. Taban is a potential half an isle kingpin if he continues to play his cards well. Given that he is a very good schemer and shrewd, Taban Deng has the highest chance to become a Nile kingpin after His Excellency Dr. Yak Machar exits the political stage. However, things may backfire for Taban Deng if he continues to overtly exhibit Machiavellian traits. It is easy to gain power through cunning, conniving, and maneuvering, but to keep it is another story. On his quest to become kingpin, Taban Deng must accommodate members of His Excellency Dr. Yak Machar's family and allies. Failure to do that will cause him a major political headache. Number two, Dr. Majak D. Agod. Dr. Majak Agod, born on June 18, 1964, is a well known South Sudanese politician. In 2005, he served at the National Intelligence Service for Sudan in the aftermath of the CPA. After South Sudan achieved independence, President Salva Kiir appointed him as Deputy Minister for Interior. Nonetheless, in the wake of the 2013 civil war, he was arrested alongside senior government officials Deng Alor Kual Ezekiel Lul Garkwath, a group which later on metamorphosed into former detainees or SPLMG turned. Dr. Majak must go beyond his traditional base, Dinkabor, and Twitch is. He needs to reach out to communities in the Upper Nile region. He has to grow his support base to be an undisputed Upper Nile king friend. Dr. Majak needs all the communities in Upper Nile to be on board. Number three, Dr. Barnaba Marial Benjamin. Dr. Marial, whose mother is a Dinka, hails from the law clan of Nwe tribe in Alpha Nile region. He is a trained medical doctor by profession. He has served in various ministries in the government of South Sudan, including his current ministerial force, Minister of Residency. By the nature of his origin and gentle manliness, Dr. Marial can become a potential Half Nile kingpin if he decides to work for it. He will be acceptable to all tribes in the Alpha Nile region. However, Dr. Maria lacks aggression, and politics require aggression. Politics is war, and one must strategize to win it. Number four, Lam Boats, the SPLM Secretary General, Peter Lam, is the new kid on the block. His meteoric rise in the SPLM cannot be overlooked. Peter Lam has age, oratorical skills, party structures, education, and resources advantage we can aid him in becoming the Alpha Nile Kingfin after His Excellency Dr. Yak Mashar. 
However, Peter Lambert understands the difference between Kingmaker and Kingfin. Based on his actions, he is sort of a Kingmaker than Kingfin. We leave it up to him to decide. Number 5. General Simon Garwell Dual. General Simon Garwell Dual, former chief of general staff of the SPLA IO and current leader of SPLA IO, Kid Guang, Magnus Paction, will be remembered as the man who covered it before His Excellency Dr. Yog Mashar hung up the boots and anointed a new successor. Nevertheless, General Simon Ganway Dual does not have time on his side. Additionally, he does not have resources to play to win the kingpinship. Furthermore, he faces tough competition from the likes of his PLM Secretary, Lamboth Tabanding Guy, Dr. Marial Benjamin, and Dr. Majak D. Agod. On a final note, these are just a few potential half an isle kingpins. Let us know in the comment section if there are any other potential half an isle kingpins we have left out. Please don't forget to subscribe to South Sudan Global.